Hi everybody, this is Mama Sue and I've got another tutorial for you today. Here's what we're going to be making. These beautiful earrings that look like they're hand forged. See the hand forged look in them? Aren't those beautiful? Now that's not really being that's a cheating way of forging because all I did was take some metal I took my needle nose and all I did is I go, went along it and squashed let me show you that when I see what's happening as I squash that let me, let me show you up close. Here's what happens. This is a piece of aluminum here. Well, see there? See the hand forge look in it? Well, that's all I did to a, did to this, but this is black. Uh, this is this is like a blackened steel wire. And uh, I figure Ben's is not going in the ear. It's all right to use. So that's what I did with that to make that forge look. Now, here's a couple other pairs I made. Just so you can see differences. Here's a brown pair. See how that, how nice it looks with that forge look? It just gives it a little rustic look. Looks great with jeans. And then here's another one. Now this one was done with plastic beads. This one hasn't really been forged a lot. Just a little bit. Well, I guess it looks like it's forged more on that side. But here's... Now this was just with plastic beads. And, and a couple seed beads. So this was a really cheap pair of earrings to make. And, and these things are... Sell really, really good. Um, the style. So it's an easy pair of earrings to make. And if you made enough of them, you could sell them at a fair or something. It's easy, quick. I'm going to show you that right now. Easy, quick set of earrings to make. Here's the one we're going to make today. This one is purple with that. It's purple and it's got the uh, little crackly bead in the... Ah, oh, there it is. A little crackly bead in the middle, and then I forge the edge. My cheating way of forging. Now, what you're going to need is you're going to need a wire about for this size. You can go any size you want. You can make them smaller, larger, any size you want. But for this one, I used four and a half inches. And here's the here's the wire. It's it's kind of a brownish black coating on this wire. I picked this one up at Ace Hardware. Just so you know you can you don't have to get the expensive stuff especially when you're practicing. Then you're gonna need one of these a wire for your ear. Here's one ball that you're gonna need for the center. Here's your two purple beads. Then you're gonna need four of these the bigger seed beads. You're gonna need four of those then you're just going to need a ring. I like using these kind of rings because it's like a key ring. And when you put it on, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, so to start off, what we've got to do is we've got to put a curl in the tip. Let's, let's look at our reference here. I have little curls right there to hold your wire on. That's what we're going to be making right now. So how I make that is I take my round nose pliers, I'll put it on the edge, as close as I can to the edge, and I'll start bending it. See how I'm bending it? Now I couldn't go all the way around, so I'm going to move my pliers up a little bit and turn it a little more until it touches the wire. Now it touched the wire. Then I'm going to bring it all the way back around to the other side, and I'm just going to bend it up a little.
And if I squash that, there's what I got. Now that we've got that on there, that's going to hold our beads on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start picking up our beads and we're going to follow the design on this one because this is the earring we're copying. This is the first one I've, that I've made it in advance. On this one we start off with a, with a silver, then we go to a purple, then a silver. These are seed beads. These are the bigger seed beads. And then we've, we've got our biggest biggest uh, bead and then we're back to the seed bead and the purple. So this is going to be a quick tutorial. Quick earring. There's seed bead then the purple. If I can pick them up it'll be a quick tutorial. This is just to show you how quick you can make an earring. Now I'm not rushing and this earring is going together very quickly. Now that's all the seeds. I mean that's all <laughs> that's all the beads. All the beads are on there. Now what I need to do is I need to put a loop in this other end to close off the um, to close it off. So I have another circle on the other end. So what I'm going to do is the same thing I did before. Put that in as close as I can to the edge and start turning it. See how I turned it around the edge there? Now I'm going to move this up and turn it the rest of the way until it touches the metal. Now once it touches the metal, I'm going to come around and bend it back the other way a little bit. Just like that. Then I'm going to squash it down a little bit, make sure it's even. Then I'm going to start, put, put all your beads in the center. And you're going to start, from the center, you're going to start bending your, your earring like this. Now it's not going to be perfect. Then you want to take your, if these are out a little bit, you can just take, this is what I like about these this kind of pliers because I've got the needle nose and I have this flap space that I can use as well. That's why I like these so much. They just feel stronger and I have a cutter on them. So anyway, you've got it to that point. Now what you're going to want to do is put your ring on here through those holes. Here's your ring that's like a key ring. Now I'm going to show you how to open this. If you'll notice, you've got uh, places here where you, where you can open it up. I grab one side as close as I can to the tip. Well, not I leave a little place. See there how I'm opening it? Then I just twist my plier down, and I'm still hanging on to that plier tight. Then I slip one side in and let go with a plier. And I turn it around and I slip the other side in. Did you see how I did that? Now all I've got to do is keep turning this until it pops into place. I'll hear a little pop. There's one. There's the other one. Now it's on there. It's not going anywhere. So now I want to try to shape this. Put them all, push all your beads back down to the bottom. And then I want to shape this wire to match uh, the other earring. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you try to get it as close as you can. Let me see, not yet. Now that's getting pretty close. Now what I like to do is, I like to take a little bit of glue. I don't like my, my beads moving around like this. I don't like my beads moving around like this. So I take a little bit of glue and I... Uh, I just dab the top part and uh, put, 
put it on there just so I don't have to worry about it moving around. Because I don't like going to the mirror and seeing one piece of my earring stuck up in the air. I mean, stuck up high and the rest of it laying down in the middle. Or it all looking sideways. I guess I'm just picky. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting some of that glue on there. Then I'm going to push it back down. Push it back up. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. See how I'm putting a little bit on there? It just makes it nice where you don't have to worry about the, your earring going all haywire. I'm just moving that back and forth so I distribute the glue. So that it'll stay in. See how it's already staying? Now I used I used the 600 brand this time. But you can use any glue. I mean I even use crazy glue. Whatever's, whatever's sitting next to me is what I use. Oh, you know what? They do have um, that 600 brand uh, in this, this tube that has a real little um, tip on it, which is really handy. It comes in a round uh, uh, thing, and it's just wonderful to use. Well, there you go. That earring is made. Now what I need to do is this one looks a little bigger. When you press this to forge it, that's what makes it get a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along these edges and I'm just going to press all the way up to put that forged look into this one. See, as you're pressing it, you're actually making it a little bit bigger at the same time because it's squishing it out. See how pretty that's looking? The forge just makes such a difference on these, especially with this color. Now if I don't think it looks forged enough, I have a little trick. Now that's getting closer to what I want it to look like. Let me see if Oh yeah, that's getting about the same size now. But if you don't think it's the same size yet, all you gotta do is forge it a little bit more. You know, now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tip on. To put the tip on, these are the ones that, that you, you buy. I make a lot of mine, but this is the kind you buy. And it's always got the opening at the inside part of the the wire. Whichever way the wire is pointing is how that's going to open on that tip on these, on these ones that you buy. I try to make them like that too because I, I like the way I like the way these open to the back. Sometimes they make a boo boo. It doesn't show, but I just like it better to the back. It's not going to show anyway. Now I just close that up, and voila! You have your earring. Now, one thing I I like to do too sometimes is is I don't like this this these pre-made wires the way they arch back so much, and so sometimes I'll pull this forward like that, and I'll just put a little dab of glue right there, uh, right here, just to hold that spring in place. You know, because that spring, I don't want that spring falling off. Although it wouldn't really matter, but. <laughs> I, I mean, if, if you like that kind of thing. But anyway, that, there you go. That's, that's how you put these things together. That's how you forge them. And that's how you make these beautiful earrings. Now, if you wanted to, you could put them down and, and um, hammer them out a little bit. But I... I don't think it really needs that. And another thing, I, I told you I was going to show you a little trick. If I don't think it's got enough color, I mean, if it doesn't look forged enough, I'll take a file 
I'll just file little places on it just to put some light spots so that you can tell that I have a jewelry file I normally use but I didn't think everybody would have jewelry files if I wipe that off see how you can see the forge a little bit better on there just from that little bit of file because the um, it takes off some of that black and just makes it look neat but that's it that's how you do it and that's what I got for you today so if you get the time make up a bunch of earrings they make great gifts you can you can sell them at fairs and, and look how quick that was quick and easy that was to make once you get used to it I mean if I'm doing it without showing somebody I can fly through these things but I mean you know it doesn't take a lot of time and they look beautiful well thanks for watching and God bless